So to anyone who doesn't know this music, because it's quite interesting, Bruckner is extremely popular in Austria and in Germany. Mm. In, in Austria, he was a kind of god of the organ world. Mm. And, and in this country, his interest is a little patchy. So to people who don't know that music, how would you describe the sound world that he's working in? Bruckner is unique. I mean, he's, he does really stand alone. And that might be part of the reason why his integration into our concert life in England hasn't always been so easy. It requires actually a, a sort of different way of listening. You're drawn in and held by the compelling sort of inner logic of this. And once, once it clicks, it's really unlike any other musical experience that I know of. I adore it well, deeply. So do I, but I still don't understand it. I often think I'm, I'm a bit like the Englishman that Thomas Beecham talked about. I, 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 uh, I don't understand music, but I like the noise it makes. Mm. And Bruckner, to me, sums that up because the sound world is extraordinarily particular and, mm. and rather specific, isn't it? Mm. People, th it's, a, it's a cliche. People talk about architecture in music, mm. but it really does rather evoke the intricacy of Gothic architecture, mm. doesn't it? Well, it's very tiered yeah. in the way both the ideas work and in the way he treats the orchestra, building it up in yeah, tiers. Yeah. The language itself is incredibly forward-looking, particularly in this symphony, in the ninth. I mean, there is harmony in this work that really hadn't been heard or used before. Mm -hmm. it, it's interesting, Ryan. You bring a particular, um, it's an overused word, but passion to music, but it's very much from a composer's point of view. Mm. You're always aware of the technicalities of what the composer's doing. I suppose the, the, the job of any conductor, though, to, to be able to analyse what makes a piece work in order to present it to an audience in a way that, that feels compelling and, and right. But it's true that this music I love dearly, I'm, I mean, I'm always learning from it myself. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm fascinated by how it's put together. And the way Bruckner put things together is very different to anyone else. So what about the sound world of this music? Because, you know, we think of it, it's not a particularly large orchestra, is it? No, eight horns with four doub doubling on Wagner tubers. So there is, um, of course, that deep connection with Wagner, who Bruckner adored, worshipped. But actually the, the, the way in which the argument unfolds is un-Wagnerian. 